Yo, this is Wall Street News with Vegas and Jim, November 10th, 2019. Supporting traders globally and achieving their financial security and freedom. Miss Vegas has a great watch list. Okay, good morning, everyone. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, we're definitely going to talk about uh, the following. We're going to talk about MICT, TRNX, Apple, BABA, and ABBV. So let's begin with MICT. I love the name of the ticker. Um, so this here is a company that obviously has received a $25 million private placement. And this was received of convertible notes. Um, this will actually convert automatically to $1.41 a share once they close this acquisition. Um, this is a $25 million funding together with a $7.25 million raised uh, which will actually improve definitely the company's balance sheet, diversify into the global fintech industry. So I really like fintech. I think this is great. Uh, this company is in the Chinese fintech marketplace, and they're actually going to become a major player in several verticals in China. And um, this is going to be one to keep on watch. I know that the stock had a nice move as a result of the news. You know, move, pull back, move, pull back. Um, so we could definitely see some activity on this for a continuation. Again, remember that the convert, um, this will close at 141 per share when they close the acquisition. So the fact that it's below that at this time is good. Um, there's room for this to have uh, some action still. And I'll turn it over to Jim. Talk to us about the chart on MICT. Jim, over to you. Well, we're definitely at a yearly resistance, I think. Maybe the second, kind of running up to the second. We did definitely hit it 120. 118 this area right here so that was definitely friday when we hit that resistance level right there right around 116. we did form a pennant flag over here to the right of the chart that you can see and it did have a 120 high it did try to break it but it just pulled back and kept creating higher lows and higher highs so it's all going to be up to money to determine where this thing's going to go let's look at the 20-day chart real fast and I'll tell you where I think it can pull back to on a 20 day. And that's going to be right here at this 80 cent level. That'll be a strong buy for a retracement bounce of about 50%, which I'd say right around that 92.47 area. That's going to be your resistance level. Or it could pull back to that 92 and bounce it back up and try to hit that $1 again. But we've got to break that right now. So the new resistance we're going to call on this. 20 day is going to be right here at 111.79 knowing that we did hit 120 Friday but it also formed a little pennant flag a little symmetrical so it can go either way it could either pull back to 80 or it can break the resistance of 111.79 that's MCT and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be TRNX one we've mentioned a few times before yeah, so this is, you know, Taronis uh, Technologies, you know, they're into the oil and gas. This used to be the former MNGA, and uh, they're definitely looking to provide the renewable solutions for global fuel and water constraints. Now, we did see a volume pop on the stock Friday. Now, remember that um, they did have, um, they're going to have a spinoff, which they did mention and share. Uh, so if you're current, if you are a current shareholder, you'll get free shares of the new company. And so that I think is going to be starting uh, sometime next week. So there was some action on the stock. Uh, we, you know, we've seen this actual stock um, had, you know, it's had, it's bounced up. I mean, I've seen it go as high as 209 and you know, I'd love to see it actually break 209 and go higher. I mean, the only, you know, one of the things I like about the company um, you know, they do have uh, apparently some Turkey contract uh, worth approximately 165. They're working on the contract um, and they estimate that if they do secure it, um, you know, this could be down the road, a 200, 200 million revenue opportunity. Um, and this is based on the analysis provided by the Turkish government. So there's really good um, opportunity here um that they're going to be you know pursuing 
Again, this is subject to, you know, being approved and, and signed and all that. But as you know, one of the things they got in the pipeline. So let's see what Jim thinks about this chart. Again, it's popped before. Uh, it's gone as high as 209. I'd like to see it break. This could pull back as well. Um, but let's hear, Jim, your thoughts on TRNX chart. Yeah, I think we did break a resistance level uh, Friday after hours into after hours market. And we are kind of pulling back, but yet it was a sign of the bulls did come out, tried to invoid their, invoid, invade their territory back. So we got like 160 that I'm seeing here for a real strong support level. And we were calling this out in the room at 148 to 152. And it did have a low of 124 back down here and, and around this 120 on a 20-day chart right around the 128 area. So your, your first strong support is going to be right around 160. And then your second channel of support level is going to be that 150 area, 152. And it can pull back to about 140. I'd say maybe right in, right in here, right around the 138 level. With a low strong buy at 128. With the resistance that it needs to break, which we did close at 176. And it was up after hours. Is that 191 area. Right in here at this 191. If we can break that, we might bring it back up to this 208. That's TRNX. And the next one we're going to talk about, which everybody should be watching every day, and that's going to be Apple. You know, just, you know, amazing. We close them high. Uh, they have the Apple TV Plus, which already started. Okay, so with the Apple TV Plus, I mean, people love Apple in general. And, you know, we knew that Apple TV Plus was going to be coming. I mean, we have the likes of Netflix, HBO that produce their own content. We also have, um, you know, Amazon's getting into it as well. And obviously, Apple wasn't just going to sit back and not have something coming on. And also, don't forget, Disney Plus is coming up this week. So I think Apple TV Plus is still big. I think it's still a good thing for Apple. Um, we also have, you know, the release of their new phone. I mean, it's just they're getting into more and more subscriptions. Um, so I think this is great. New 52-week closing highs. This is a non-stop stock. I love it. No need to panic if the stock pulls back. This stock is just great long-term holds, in my opinion. Any pullbacks that this ever has is a great opportunity to just get more at a sale price. Jim, let's hear about this beautiful Apple chart. Yeah, I do believe it kind of tells chart tells you a story about any trade. And we did have a little pullback here on the 20 day to a resistance level that we tried to break before. And that was right around the 257, 258 area. And she did pull back to that again Friday and then had to heave a hole with a double top right around that 260, 44 area. So you can see it on the 20 day right here. I'm going to magnify this up a little bit. That resistance level is right pretty much right there at that 260.13. We did have a 260.44 high. So let's pull this back to the 20 day. This is the Apple chart. So that strong low support is going to be at here at the 248.30 to 248.73 level. Right in here where we had that pullback from that 242 and that big bounce up. So that's going to be your third support at 248.73. That's where I would set your alert. And I think I'll do that right now just for, just for thinking about it. 248.73. Let's make it 75. Got that set for that low support area, and then the second one's going to be right in this area for that second support. If it has to hold, it has to hold at 255, around 255, 70, 255, 80 area. And then your first one's going to be where it pulled back to Friday, and that's going to be that 257, 49, 
and the resistance it's got to have to break can be that double top at 260.13 and that's Apple and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Baba yeah so you know I love Baba and you know they're going to be launching Singles Day on Baba and for those of you that may not know what this is this is an annual event and um, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be offering 1 million new products. Uh, they're going to be also kicking off a 24 hour shopping extravaganza. They're also going to have a performance by Taylor Swift to top this off. And, um, you know, last year when they had this event, they had over 30 billion dollars of sales. And this year they anticipate not only launching 1 million new products, but also over 500 million users expecting to participate, which is 100 million more than last year. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. This is like a Cyber Monday that normally we have in the US, and some people call it Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever you want to call it, but this is called Singles Day, which is a shopping festival that is promoted by Alibaba, and it started back in 2009, and it has become one of the world's biggest online sales event. And this is just exciting because this is going to be starting tomorrow. So can we see some action on Baba? I mean, I mean, I really like the action on the stock, and I'm going to let Jim talk to us about that because Baba wants to go bye-bye. Yeah, we did have like a resistance level we hit Friday which is going to be right, I'm going to call it probably right around the one, let me raise this up, just 188.47 level. And that kind of reads it up pretty much right there. So, yeah, we did have, a, if we could break this 147, 188.47 Friday or Monday morning, we could get this little big bounce up that we had here last year when we had that big bounce up to 195.72 in a couple of days but right now we did pull back a little bit Friday so it's kind of seeing what it wants to do and usually this is one of the first tickers I hear in the morning on Stella Baba Baba so that kind of tells me which direction the market might be heading kind of puts me in the mood so if I hear this thing popping in the morning Baba we'll see which direction she is heading but I think we can pull back to support level of 184.93 or it can break the resistance of 188.47 right now we're kind of sitting at a neckline at a at a pivot point of 186.78 and that's Baba and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be ABBV yeah so this is ABV and uh, I just want to briefly talk about the company um, they had a phenomenal earnings. I mean, the revenues came in at $0.05 billion. It did exceed the estimates of 3.89. The revenue was up 3.6% from the year ago quarter. They had higher sales of key products, by the way. They make Botox. They make Juvederm collection. They do all those fillers. Um, I mean, so you want to talk about big money this company makes tons of money and um you know they were in the news and this is one to watch because they did submit what they call a supplemental new drug uh, application to the fda for the imbruvica and this drug is for first line treatment of younger patients you know 70 years young or younger um with chronic lymphocytic leukemia and this submission was based on the results from the phase three study and as a result of that study doing very well they have submitted a new supplemental new drug application so we're waiting for this to be reviewed this has to go through the what they call the rtor pilot program which is the real-time oncology review which then allows the fda to review the data so um, this is fantastic news. I think this is one to watch. Earnings winner, new drugs in the market, um, waiting for additional approval. So this is just amazing. Um, definitely keep this on watch. I love this chart. 
as well. Um, so this has the potential to move regardless of this submission right now. I mean, this stock definitely is overbought. It looks like it's ready to have an expansion break. And I love that it's, um, you know, also looks like a cup and handle here. So Jim, let's uh, see what you think about this uh, beautiful setup on ABBV. I do. I do believe everything you said about this company. And we've been in our chat room talking about this one for a while. And it did have like a little pullback on it last week to a support level of right around the $80, $80 level, 8003. I think I mentioned it in the room pretty much around that time, and it did have a nice little breakout up to new double top high, which that resistance level was at one eight was at eighty three fifty six. So that's going to be the solid support for it right now. Is going to be that that eighty three fifty six, and we did have a yearly high of ninety four ninety eight, and mine will be a little bit lower than that. But the resistance I have next is ninety three bucks for this thing to run back, but it's going to be a hard 89 once we get there. So let's pull up the 20 day. There we go. You can see where I can call this first support area between at 8319 and 8356. That's going to be your solid support. And your second one's going to be right down here in this channel. And then that third one here at 8056, if it decides to go ahead on pull back on an engulfing candle. If it's bearish, I'd probably jump in it. And if it's bullish, I'd hesitate a little bit. See if you can get in on a consolidated dip. But for right now, I mean, we're setting up for a double top breakout here at 85.27. That's what I'm seeing in a way. Let's pull this up to a daily one minute. And we got one more right about in here. Okay, so you got your low support here at 83.56. That's the one that's got to hold. If not, it can pull back to the little more. So maybe even 82 for a double bottom. Or it can break up this ascending triangle right now. And this Monday morning will tell us if it wants to break the, the what, 85.27 or even a little higher up here. Maybe right around the 85.43 area. That's ABBV. And that's it for the market report miss vegas well you know what i have to say november has been a fantastic month i am just so happy with everything in the market that i've been seeing this past week um you know a little commentary here and there about you know the china deal and the phase one i just want to mention that on uh tuesday uh trump will be speaking at the um economic club of new york and I guess what the market's going to be looking for is more clarity on the phase one deal, on the planned phase one deal. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. That will happen on Tuesday. And uh, also, um, you know, there'll be some other economic news as well. I think, uh, you know, we'll have some updates throughout the week. But definitely, like, November's looking really good. So, uh, so far, I think uh, we're quite pleased. And also keep a watch on Bitcoin. Bitcoin's uh, in a little bit of action. Well, that's the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. You can always get in here and hit this little Twitter bird here, and it takes you to our Twitter account. Sign up, hit that follow button. We also have our stock twits accounts right here, Pinterest. YouTube and then our store so you could always link to our store right here and see what kind of merchandise You like to check out and that's the I love stocks and everybody have a great week And also I want to talk a little bit about my options challenge. I had a first two good weeks and Then I had a probably not a good week and then I had a mediocre week and brought my account back up to 5778 so four weeks ago, I started it with, this will be the fifth week now. I brought it up from 800 to almost, almost 5,000, 577.78. So let's, going to start fresh. I had a couple bad ones, but uh, last week, I think the one I missed was um, Tesla. That's 
NFLX. So everybody have a nice day. This is I Love Stocks. We'll